Hello. Thought I was all set up and then the live started. Hi, I'm Eliza Bloom Robinson here with a thought, a couple of thoughts about the idea of light. Light is what we are. We are the light of the world and we are here to be the light of the world. Well, what happened for me today is three different things kind of came all together and coalesced into a whole big discussion. I don't have time for a whole big discussion about light right now, but I wanted to throw this out. So first and foremost, I was in my meditation, in my journaling time this morning, and I said, what, you know, like we do, what do you need me to know? What do you want me to know? Hey, Doug, hey, Bill, hey, Elizabeth. I love it when people are here live. What is it you want me to know? <clears throat> and the message poured through me. I'll probably post it in a day or two on Facebook, but I wanted to keep it, um, I wanted to sit with it. But basically the bottom line in a couple of paragraphs of words was you are the light of the world. You are here to let your light so shine. There's nothing you have to do to become the light of the world except get out of your own way. There's nothing you have to do except sort of fall into ease, fall into the light, T turn the switch on. I got this whole great message about flipping the switch and it reminded me of a story that I used to tell. It came out of uh, uh, Greg Boyle's book, Tattoos on the Heart. And, and the bottom line was really that a young man had the experience, I think he had a dream, had an experience of walking into a dark warehouse and could see absolutely nothing. There was no light whatsoever, but he stumbled around for long enough that he found the switch. And so he flipped the light switch on and of course, let there be light and there was light. But the story got really heartfelt when he said that his brother who had just been killed in a gang incident wasn't on the planet long enough to realize there was even a switch for the light. So the first was the message about light. The second was the memory of this story about the light switch. Flip the switch. Just flip the switch. That's all you have to do. It's easy. It's simple. Hey, Jim, I see you on live too. How great is that? Flip the switch. And then the third thing that happened today is I went to a new group. I went to a new, uh, you know, we're still relatively new here in Arkansas and so I've been seeking out my like-minded people and I found a Course in Miracles group. So I went today and what are we talking about? Lesson 13, Section 6, all about light. There was a phrase in there that said uh, something about being scared of the light and I went, wow, whoa, I had all kinds of realizations about that today too, but I thought, okay, triple time, I need to share about light. So you, you are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. Many of the people that I know and that I work with and maybe you watch in this video consider ourselves to be light workers. Consider our work on this planet to be about bringing light and bringing love and being the light no matter what we're experiencing. And I think in this day, in this age, in this society we find ourselves in, it's crucial to the point of imperative and maybe even urgent. So another thing that goes along with that is if we're being the light that we're here to be, that's all we're going to be able to see, right? If we're being the light we're here to be, we're going to see light. That doesn't mean that we won't be able to see darkness or we won't be able to pay attention to, but we have a different focus when we have turned our own light switch on. A couple of things that will happen when we turn our own switch on and we pay super close attention. We become very diligent and vigilant in our thoughts, right? Is we will lose judgment. It won't be there because we'll be seeing with the eyes of the light. 
where there is no right, there is no wrong, there is no them, there is no us, there is only light. And are we not called to that? So the other piece that was kind of floating around um, in my awareness today is we have this beautiful uh, tomato plant. I'll show it to you. Oops, can I find it? It's beautiful. It's growing here on our patio. And a couple of days ago, it had, oh, seven or eight beautiful, gorgeous tomatoes on it. One of them was bright, bright red, just so ready to be picked, so ready. I was like, I knew, like the next morning it was being picked and it was going to be our BLTs for dinner. I'm like so excited. I get up the next morning, gone. It's gone. Well, I'm like, so I find myself in a battle with the squirrels or the chipmunks, whoever is getting my tomatoes. Right now, there's not a single tomato on the plant because even this morning, there was one, I should have brought this, one that they ate out of. They ate and then they left it here. They got it off the bush and they left it on my railing. That is so rude. I am in so much judgment, right? So I'm practicing my spiritual practices. I'm practicing my daily practice. I'm practicing what I preach on my environment. There was still one green tomato on the plant. I moved it way out in the middle of the deck. I came home. It's gone. Gone. It's now squirrels. 12, 13 now. Eliza, zero. So what can I do? What does that have to do with being the light of the world? It has to do with this. It has to do with every time we let our peace be stolen. We have forgotten to be the light of the world. We have dimmed our light to go into judgment or reaction or anger or disappointment or war for that matter. But what, <laughs> Doug says, squirrels need to eat too. I know, but it was mine. <laughs> I got such great, I mean, this could be a whole lesson, right? I got such great fodder for the mill around this squirrel or this chipmunk or in my buddy. My buddy, I'm gonna start calling him my buddy. I need to make peace with my squirrels. Anyway, my point is, in all of this, I do have a point. My point is, we are the light of the world. And when we flip the switch and become that light, there is nothing that can disturb the calm peace of our soul. There is nothing that can happen that can rock us off of that place of being light. I am the light of the world. Often I know it. Sometimes I don't. You are the light of the world. I know that more often for you sometimes than I know it for my own self. And so what would it take right now in this moment to flip your switch to become the light? What would it take and what would it feel like? For me, I know that yeah, I just get busy. I'm getting busy. I'm going to teach a class here in just a moment. I need to wrap this up and I just get busy. But if I stop and go, oh, wait, flip the switch. Oh, yeah, I am the light. Everything shifts. In an instant, in a moment, everything shifts. And so for your daily practice today, practice switching the light. Switch it on, switch it off. Feel how your body feels. Feel how your consciousness feels. Pay attention. Have fun with it. Let's let these daily practices be fun. You are the light of the world. And I'm so glad you've shared a moment of your time with me. I'm Eliza Bloom Robinson, Transformational Catalyst, Spiritual Healer, here with your daily practice. Sharing life, sharing inspiration. Until next time, bye-bye.